And we're recording. Hey, everyone. This is Sandy with the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast, No More Excuses. And I am excited, like super freaking excited to um, introduce longtime listener, first time interviewer. <laughs> We've never met face to face. Uh, I just, she gives me listener love all the time. This is Nikki from Rhode Island. Wave hi. And there's a little bit of a delay here. So if, oh. if, 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 like, if there's a little bit of a delay, it's, um, it's not the distance. We're going we're gonna to use the reason, not the excuse. We're going to use the reason snow. I guess that's a little bit of a blame, but. Um, yes, word. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, again, thank you everybody for listening. And for those of you who are actually going to watch this. And uh, Nikki, I appreciate you being here. And I appreciate all of you listening and coming back week after week and year after year. And I've got my little cheat sheets here because um, Nikki has told me she's listened to, to these podcasts a little over a year. And um, yeah, it's just been really cool. And I really appreciate you and, and appreciate all of you for listening. And so Nikki, all right, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you're a chef by day and then you do some kick-ass fitness stuff by night or side gig or whatever. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, thanks for having me. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to see you face to face yeah. and uh, be on this podcast. Um, so yeah, so by day, I'm a chef. Um, I work in an assisted living facility, you know, helping the elderly. Um, but my, my passion is uh, my side side gig, my side business. Um, it's a health and wellness group, mainly of women. You know, I, I support the health and wellness of the men mm -hmm. and um, all that too. But the side um, business comes to the overall health of women, um, not just mental, physical, um, just trying to be your best self. Um, you know, we have good days and bad days. Oh, little frozen. Hang in there. Little frozen. All right. And now we're back. We've got Nikki back. So you were talking about everyone has good days and bad. Yeah. And the, the group I'm involved in is about supporting each other and holding each other accountable, even in, you know, when life throws you curveballs or like you've said in the past um, podcast, the bullshit. Yeah. Um, you know, we're all there for each other. We're, we're, we're a tribe, you know, and you've even talked about that in past podcasts. You need a, a good tribe to support you um, so you can be your best self. Right. And that's what, um, you know, the side, side business to side gig is. It's about overall health and wellness and mm -hmm. um, connecting everything together. So, well, in a sense, you do that with your, your day, day job um, because that's what you do. You're helping even though it's assisted living, you're helping people live a little longer and a little healthier and probably occasionally right. giving them that treat, right? Because we all need that treat. <laughs> you have to. You can't deprive yourself of that cookie now and then oh. or, you know, that or, cookie now and then. Or that bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 You, need, you need to treat yourself. Otherwise, you'll, you'll crave, crave it more. Right. Um, okay. So you said you've been a listener for over a year or a little over a year. Um, and I'm at... Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I? 239, 200. I think this is 240. Let me, let me look. Yeah. Yep. yep this'll be 240. <laughs> um, I was looking at last week's. So what keeps you coming back? Um, the advice, the, the personal level that it's helped me reach the goals that I want to reach. Um, you know, your, your real, your advice is not censored. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be honest, you know, you're you're direct. It's like my, you're, it's like my hair. You're, you're you're saying <laughs> you're well, saying exactly what what needs to be said. Um, especially this past year has been a shit storm with COVID and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, all, all the advice you've given, I've tried to implement in my daily life, and even pushing it towards our health and wellness group too, and trying to give them advice and. Um, making sure that they'll, they'll use it too. Okay. I appreciate that. Um, Cause I know you tend to, you'll post on Instagram that you're listening to me in the car and all that. So I really pre always appreciate that. So 
what's the best advice you've gotten? Doesn't have to be from me, just from anyone in, in the world. What, what's something that has stuck with you for years? Definitely the, the best advice I've ever gotten is to, like I have a tattoo actually of it, is steer by the compass of your soul. Go with your gut. You, ha you have that feeling, you have that, that belief, go for it. Um, you know, don't, don't back down from it just because outside forces tell you not to. Um, or even worse, your internal crap, you know, your mind. Um, you are the worst. You are your worst enemy when it comes down to it. Your mind will make up excuses that you can't get to where you want to be at. So, you know, go with your gut, go with your soul. Um, direct yourself to where you want to go. Love it. I love it. And you know what that goes along with, and we didn't plan that. I had no idea she had that, <laughs> um, but excuses, blame and bullshit. It's uh, chapter four of my second book. Um, chapter four. Yeah. Chapter four. And uh, you know, the last few podcasts have been about it because I've just been, you know, this whole year, like it's been a shit storm um, more than any other time. And we can use a lot of excuses, blame and bullshit. And yes, COVID has, given us plenty of excuses, plenty of reasons to blame. And um, I thought of you for this podcast because um, at one point you, you know, I was, I'm, I follow you and then you had your, your side gig business, your health and wellness business, and you get up there and you do live videos of you working out and it doesn't, you don't care if you, if they see you sweat, um, you haven't had a wardrobe malfunction yet that I've noticed, but <laughs> um, you just get up there and you're like, you know, let's, let's do this. Right. But there for a while, you, um, you step back, you, you shut the business down. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Because what I really loved was the fact that you didn't, there was no excuses, no blame, no bullshit. No. Um, like I even went through an injury last year. Um, I popped out my kneecap and I still managed to to, to do the workouts, whether it was upper body, um, whether it was nutrition, I, I continued on, on a health journey. It wasn't what I wanted, but it was just diverted. Um, then about last year at this time, I believe, um, family got diagnosed with cancer. Um, there, was, there was a lot of bullshit um, that life threw me. And I just, I had to take a step back. Things were overwhelming. Things weren't going the direction I wanted to. It was just mind destruction instead of mind construction. It wasn't where I wanted um, to be. So I took a step back and honestly, it was probably the best decision because it's put me on a path that pushed me even further than I wanted to be at um, if I didn't take that break. And we all need a break. We all need that time to ourselves, self-love, um, you know, th that step back really pushed me to a place that I don't think I would be at if I didn't take it. Um, to be supportive of the family, to, to be there when my dad needed me. Um, I think it was really, really important overall growth of not just my side business, but my personal growth as well. Okay, cool. And then what, um, because yeah, there, there could have been a lot of excuses. I mean, that was a true reason. And that's the thing you know, what I was leading into from last week's podcast is there are legitimate reasons and usually Absolutely. sickness, injury, um, you know, uh, again, COVID has caused a lot of shit to happen this year, yeah. but it's how you talk about it. It's how you come back to it. And the thing is, is some people never come back to it. And um, I, in one of my chapters, and I'm like, all right, people, don't become a chapter in my book, my next book, where, you know, I sat at the di ball diamond, my daughter played soft travel softball for years, and I sat there and I listened to these women. I used to be, I used to, we all used to do something. I mean, hell, I used to be a chamber executive. I used to, um, you know, rent homes and flip homes. I, but, you know, that was just a transition and a part of my life. Um, but with especially health and wellness and businesses in general, you know, we can come back, you know, there's times where we don't come back and we say, I used to be, and we, that's when the excuses, blame and bullshit come in. But with you, you had a legitimate reason, you know, and you took that step back. So when you decided to come back, 
I guess what what made you come back versus just using you know 10 years from now going yeah I used to have a side business I used to help women with with health and wellness but I didn't I you know but my dad got sick so what made right. you come back and and switch things over I've just never allowed myself to use those excuses negatively I've always allowed them to push me further whether it was a different path or whether it was further in what I was doing. Um, and I, I, I came back because I missed, missed it. I missed inspiring people. I missed talking to people. Um, I missed that group of my tribe, um, you know, being there to support each other. And that's, that's why I came back, um, definitely to, to be there for everybody else. Um, but also I needed that too. I needed to, I'm a giving person, so I needed that that outlet of helping people. Yeah. Um, but like you said, we all do have excuses that we make up to, like, oh, I can have one cookie, or oh, I can have one, three glasses of wine, four glasses of wine, and and those are those are excuses that we can come over, like move over. But you know, someone's death of the family or an injury or like you said is is something that is a valid excuse that we can move over it if if we allow ourselves to and that's a that's a great way to put it and that's where it transitions from an excuse to a reason because we've moved right. over it we don't use it you know 10 years down the road or five years down the road and say i used to be or you know whatever this morning like i, I mentioned before we started recording uh, I got on the scale and I've talked about this, you know, and I hope you agree. Do not weigh yourself every day. However, be consistent because I haven't weighed myself in and because knee or knee injury and stuff, I'm, I'm coming back. And we were out of town with friends for three and a half days. There was a lot of wine and a, and a, a lot of vodka. <laughs> we did hike, we hiked a bunch and we didn't eat crap really we we grilled out and I made chili one night but I got on the scale and I haven't weighed myself in a month I was like oops oh and I had pizza like there's a place that sells um by the slice so I had both instead of saving one piece for the next day for lunch and yeah that's where you start beating yourself up and they're like uh why did I do that I'm so full but it was so good so like you're saying you know give yourself that treat but learn how to to manage it and so okay get back on it so this morning i was at the gym going all right i'm not going to beat myself up about it because then i'll just get into a bonbon moment and roll her down the hill and never go back and eat more pizza probably but it was more of okay i know why i'm going to own it right I'm, I'm up a few pounds i'm going to own it and i'm going to pull i'm going to get my shit together and get back to where I feel comfortable. And it's not necessarily size or this or that. It's just that whole comfort and healthy feeling. No. Yeah. I was like, okay, enough treats, right. Gallery. Right. Enough treats. It's my birthday month. So enough treats. Tomorrow's, yeah. tomorrow's the end of the month. And no, I don't do a lot of candy. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, pull it together. That's where I start yelling at myself. So if, <laughs> if, if one of your, um, like, if, since you're in that health and wellness business, what advice would you give someone that came to you and said, I'm up two pounds, I'm up six pounds, and here's why? What would you say to them? Well, you, you have to self-evaluate yourself a little bit too. Um, you know, it has to be a balancing act. Mm -hmm. Just like life, you know, you have to, you can have those glasses of wine. You know, we, we don't promote the, the de deprivation. That, that's the worst thing you could possibly do. Um, but consistency, habits, you, you form those habits that put you on the right track to your goals. Um, you know, back in high school, I was close to 300 pounds. So if I didn't stay consistent with my habits, my, my goals that I was creating, small increments, I wouldn't reach where I am today. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's what we promote, um, you know, the balancing act of, of eating healthy but treating yourself um trying to stay active at least 30 minutes a day yeah. um you know whether it's a walk around the neighborhood or it's a workout um in the company that i'm involved in um that that that's the the biggest thing 
Well, and, and you nailed it with the habits. And the last couple of podcasts were about reviewing your habits, checking in on your progress. And um, I'm glad I weighed myself this morning before we talked because I, real, I went to write it down. I'm like, I haven't weighed myself. I got out of that habit of weighing myself and checking in. And that's what my podcasts have been about. It's like, we've needed to change up our habits. We've been forced to this year. And a lot of amazing, really cool things have come from the roller coaster ride pandemic that right. I'm calling it. However, <laughs> you know, we st- now that we're getting back going, we need to review them. We need to review our habits to see the results, just like we do our goals. And clearly I got out of habit of watching how much wine I had. Clearly I got out of habit of weighing myself and paying attention to snacking and things like that. So, um, you know, how, how do you help someone get back into a habit. And again, and you're talking with you, it's your, it was a business as well as, you know, helping people with health and wellness. It, it's a business. So how do you, how did you get back into the habit of running your business and how did you get, uh, how can you help women get back in that habit of taking care of themselves? Well, starting off with the, the group of the health and wellness, it's, it's holding each other accountable. Um, we check in on each other, say, hey, have you worked out today? Um, or, hey, what are you eating? We, we post um, what we've eaten for the day and where we're going or even our mentality, too. I, I don't want to work out or I, I, I really want to eat, you know, a donut or something like that and we we try to keep each other in check which is was huge um to have that support system to stop each other from to going going to the edge of a place that we don't want to go right okay. um business wise i think it's the hardest thing is uh the company wants you to be successful in a in a way that necessarily you might not be able to reach so instead of trying to hold myself accountable to how they want to be successful, I'm holding myself accountable to how I want to be successful. Um, and I think that that's a goal that I had to change my mindset a little bit because my inner mean girl was beating myself up about it. Um, oh. uh, she's horrible. <laughs> that, that inner bitch, man. She's, she's nasty. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Well, so, okay, with the workouts, so, you know, we we're talking a little bit about habits and changing that up. If someone did the same workout every day, three days a week, forever, you're shaking your head no already. It's not going to work, is it? You can't, you can't do it. Um, in the program that I'm in, there's a, a, almost a Netflix of workouts. So there's a huge variety, um, anywhere from yoga to heavy lifting to a running program now, too. Oh, cool. um, there's a huge variety. So every, you know, every ability is, is um, addressed. So okay. you don't have to be a fitness buff um, starting out. You can, you can literally go from the couch to the workouts um which which is huge to not get that plateau of yeah. being bored or not hitting your goals because you're doing the same thing habits are great but if you're if you're doing the same thing over and over you're not going to want to do them and that's like, that's part of the problem too it's like you listen to my last podcast <laughs> i do uh, i do i told you i do love it, love it. <laughs> No, and I, again, that's why I reached out because I was like, okay, we've got that same mindset. It whether and I do talk a lot about health and wellness goals because it's on my mind, and you know, I changed mine up. You know, I, I think I mentioned I was riding the same way every day on my bike, and I was still frustrated about my knee. And one day I was like, why am I? Why do I never go the other direction? And I did, and there was good and bad, but I broke free of that. Um, that hill and that skinny area where if there's too many people, you know, I'm like, ah, panicked, you know, um, right. that fear. So, you know, I, it sounds like you help people kind of change things up and break out of that plateau and yeah, habits. If you get bored, you're going to quit. If you get frustrated, you're going to quit. Or you're just like, Oh, it doesn't work for me. And I used to be so, um, right. Um, yeah. So I'm curious, um, what excuses have you given in the past? 
Oh, I gave so many. I, I used to, you know, oh, I can have this bowl of ice cream or I can have a carton of ice cream or I can have um, my knee. When I first popped out my knee, I, I was like, it's over. I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't work out. I'm never going to work out again. I'm never going to walk around the neighborhood. Um, and then I just, I shook my head at myself almost and said, you know what, this is, this is enough. Like I can get up, I can do arm workouts. I can do leg workouts, but just to strengthen my knee. Mm -hmm. Um, there's ways to, to work around your excuses to push you. Um, but, uh, I, I've given the excuses. I don't think we have time for this. All the excuses I've given. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way beyond weather and money. Yeah. 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 And like you said, move over them. I love that. That's a great expression. So, um, all right. So I'm trying to think if I had, well, do you have any questions or do you have any challenges for the listeners? Oh, you know, go ahead. I have a question for you. Okay. How do you separate personal from business? Yeah. How, how do you set up boundaries? So you're not overextending yourself. Oh, that's, great question mm. uh, because I do preach about that all the time I'll have to talk about that again I'll get back into that because um, I just was talking to someone um, oh when we were we were with another couple in Yosemite at their family cabin and it was it's a little hard to tell the time because it's getting dark earlier but it had it was after five o'clock because after five o'clock it you know it doesn't get dark until a little bit later she's getting texts from her boss and I'm like, not only are you on vacation, you and, you know, and this is, she has a side business as well as her job as well. And this was her, her, um, you know, job. They're texting her, it had to be seven, seven thirty at night about a client of theirs. And she was going, finally, I was like, put the phone down, you know, boundaries. It is hard, but you have to do it. And it's more painful for the other people because you do it to yourself. I had a client years ago, um, she's an attorney, and she just would come in all pissed off uh, um, and just bitching up a storm about her, her clients. And, you know, and I was like, tell me about this, we were talking about it. And basically it came down to the fact that she had gotten in the habit of letting that, setting up, she set up awful boundaries and expectations right off the bat. She would answer on the weekends, answer at 11 o'clock at night, and then if she got busy or didn't feel like it because it was her day off, she wouldn't respond. And then they were complaining to her. They were getting mad at her. And I said, wait, 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 wait. back up. Look at what you're saying. So what are your regular business hours? Set them up, hold them. So um, she, with the clients she had, she finished out, but any new client that came in the door, she set up that boundary and expectation of here are my office hours. And then whether it's an auto responder or you just a quick reply back, I'll, I got it, I'll get back to you, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it, it is, it's hard. Um, my sister, I have a lot of friends who are realtors. And if you're listening and you're a realtor, you know who you are um, because you got to get that sale. Houses are going so fast. You can't wait to, for two days, right? So a lot of realtors I know are, we're working on or they're working on as well now uh, creating collaborations. You know, um, having someone, if you don't have a team, having someone help out. So if, you know, you personally being a sole entrepreneur like me, you know, you want to go on vacation or you need to take a couple of days off, whether it's, um, you know, if this was a daily podcast, I would just think about the radio stations. If their main hosts go on vacation, they put on a, a regular recording. So setting that up, but, uh, you have to do it, especially women. You have to put yourself first. And I've done this talk before. I was just talking about the talk I did um, to a women's group back in Indiana before I moved. And it's, you know, put your, that whole concept of put your oxygen mask on first. You know, that whole, like women are like, well, ah, you don't, but if, if you're not a hundred percent, if you're just exhausted and stressed and frustrated, that's how you're going to show up for your clients for your family and for your friends, you know? How many times have we all gone out with friends, whether it's girlfriends or just friends in general, 
or over to our family's house and been like just fall asleep on the couch or just tired or just not in the mood. It's because we haven't taken care of ourselves because we've allowed the boundaries and expectations. We all have extra work to do. You know, we've all worked over above and beyond. I mean, I just revamped my website, did a whole new brand. I mean, I worked my ass off and I was exhausted after that and took a couple of days and just like did nothing. But, you know, you put it in there, but for clients and, and um, all that, you have to say up front, you know, and set up that, whether it's, uh, you know, I, and I don't care if you work, you know, noon to 8 p.m., find your, find what works for you, find your energy time and do that because not everyone's a morning person. Not everyone wants to get up at 4.35 o'clock like I do. Um, some people want to <laughs> stay up till midnight, one o'clock. That's cool. I'm not going to make you get up at five. So you're going to be a, you know, a hag all day, you know, <laughs> right. but, it, but then again, you know, I had a, a friend that used to, uh, when I had my marketing firm, he designed all my websites. I knew not to bug him until at least 10 a.m. because he's in the bank, he's in a few bands. He was, mm -hmm. up, you know, whether it was practice or a show, God, come back shows, right? Um, but, you know, <laughs> you just, but we had that boundary set up. I had that expectation already. We had that set up that I wasn't going to get anything from him if he was working on one of my clients' websites. He was, I wasn't going to get anything from him until after 10 a.m. And I sure as hell wasn't going to call him and ask him anything before 10 a.m. So boundaries and expectations. And, but that's a, and that's a dude, right? Right. You, you know, guys will do that. Women won't. So women pull it together, boundaries, expectations. And if you can hear the landscaper, they're back around. I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's a very long, long question, but it's a very hard one for a lot of people of setting that up. So how do you divide it? You just, you have to just do it and say, you know, especially for you, you have your, your full-time job and a business that's, you know, very important and isn't just a, a five hour a week business because it, you're, right. you're the one, you know, they're not just pushing play. You're pushing no. play and you're getting people to do the workouts with you and you're giving them the education. So much like me, you're your business. I am my business. <laughs> if I go away, right. hopefully somebody will care. Maybe you'll miss me. <laughs> But yeah, and you can't, you can't pour from an empty cup, you know, you have to, like you said, you have to do stuff for yourself first yeah. before you can give to others in right. a way. So, yeah, yeah. Great question. Um, okay. So how can, if women, oh, do you work with men too, or just women? Mainly women. Okay. Um, it's mainly a girls, a girls group, kind of okay. like your uh, bitches and booze group um to, 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 some, to support group. each other yeah. Um, yeah so how can they find you or get more information about this um they can follow me on instagram mm -hmm. um at nikki oz uh nicolicious fitness I love that. um and you can hold up yeah you can uh check me out on that and i'll uh, connect you to the yeah the links yeah um <laughs> where you can get started in the challenge group uh, that's on on the internet and where we support each other and, you know, help each other grow, especially in this midst of COVID. Right. Um, you don't need to go to a gym. You can actually work out at home, which is even better. Um, you don't have to wear Zoom a mask. Workouts and, yeah, yeah, yes. all that stuff. So. And, and I've, I've seen your clips, man. You are sweating your ass off. There's no fake in this bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no bullshit in the workouts. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, so get a hold of Nikki. She's amazing. I appreciate you so much. Um, steer by the compass of your soul. And that's, that's, that's so amazing to, to just hold on to that. Because again, you're going with your gut. You're not giving up. Like you said, you're moving over your, your excuses and turning them into real reasons. Now, if you said, well, um, the weather sucked and that's my reason. Now, grant you, when back in Indiana, it's like there were times where I go outside to run and I'm slipping in a slide and, and I'm like, I, what am I going to blow out my knee again <laughs> just right. to get this run in? No, I'll go mm -hmm. inside and I'll do a little inside workout or something until the snowfall. Because you said you've got two or three inches already, right? 
No? Yeah, it's a, it's a surprise right now. We weren't expecting snow today, so yeah. welcome, welcome to the winter in 2020. <laughs> yeah, happy Halloween to you, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, any other questions? I'm looking to see if I forgot to ask you anything. No? You got anything? So, no, okay. I think good. All right, and I'm going to do, because my friends always give me shit that I never plug my books. I talk about them. So there's the first one from there to here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the second one, the excuses, blame, and bullshit. So yes, that's a whip in my hands because I carry a whip and wear pointy shoes to kick your ass <laughs> in the air. And then, and I love it. There's like different hairstyles. So yeah, no, the magic pill. You got to read it to find out what the magic pill is because don't we all want that? We all, yes. want that, we all want that quick fix. Does that exist? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, thank you again so much, Nikki. And okay, one more time. How did they get a hold of you? Uh, Nicolicious Fitness on Instagram. Okay. And I'll, I'll connect you through there. Okay. And I'll put that, um, I'll tag her in the show notes and then the email out. And yeah, so thank you again so much. And I really, like I said, I really appreciate you. The fact that you didn't give any excuses, blame or bullshit. You came back with a vengeance, also rejuvenated and revived with another, you know, with a refreshed mindset and a way to help others get through theirs. Right. Right. Awesome. Right. Awesome. It's important. Yes. Well, cool. Thank you so much. And thank uh, you. cheers. I'll see you cheers. all next week.